Hi everyone. In this tutorial we will see how to interface the dot matrix displays with the 8051 microcontroller. It is actually the Atmel 89S52 microcontroller that we are using here. So as you can see here we have a few dot matrix displays here. So the first one is the 5x8 dot matrix display and this one is a 5x7 dot matrix display and this one again is a 5x8 dot matrix display so as you know they come into different sizes and they come into different colors some of them have a single color like this one has only the red color this one is a bicolor dot matrix display and it has got the red LEDs and the green LEDs in it and this one again is a unicolor LED and uh, is having only the red color. Also you can see here that they have the different dot sizes. This one is having the dot size of 3mm and these two are having the dot sizes of 5mm. So let's look at the opposite or the back side of this dot matrix display. So as you can see that here we have a few pins. In this case we are having a total number of 14 pins and these are for controlling the different rows and columns of this display. So since this is a 5 by 8 dot matrix display it is having a total of 14 pins, 8 for controlling the rows and 5 for controlling the columns but 2 pins are actually common so that's why there is 14 one we can leave unconnected to so how to identify that which pin number is the pin number 1 and which pin number is the last pin in case of this dot matrix displays so in our case we will be using this uh, small dot matrix display which is of 5 by 8 size so it is numbered BM10458ND and it is the bright it is made by the bright LED corporation so let me show you the data sheet for this particular dot matrix display so as you can see here we are having the features of this display you can see the dot size equal to 3mm and other features also so looking at the package dimensions you can see clearly that here it is mentioned that at the lower left corner is the pin number one which is mentioned here so moving from left to right suppose this is the pin number one then this will be like from left to right this will be the pin number two three and so on and on the upper portion starting from right to left if this is the pin number eight then this will be the pin number nine this is the pin number ten and so on up till fourteen as in this case so the pins increment from right to left in the upper portion and from left to right in the case of the lower pins so you can see the other dimensions of this display some description is also given about it so we are actually concerned with the internal circuit diagram which we require for driving this dot matrix display and for turning on the different rows and columns so you can see here the rows and columns are mentioned and this is the actual thing which we require you can see that here are few rows and we have some columns and as I mentioned earlier pin number 4, four and 11 are common so one out of these can be left unconnected so if we want to suppose turn on the row 1 so in that case we will put a logic high at the pin number 9 and we will be turning on all the columns so we will be getting the first row glowing so similarly if we want to have some column 
glowing in that case we need to put all the rows at a logic high and uh, a particular column which we want to glow will be turned on so we can see the particular column being glowing so actually we use here the technique called the LED multiplexing in which we use the technique of persistence of vision for controlling the designs or making particular designs so let's have a look at the other features and characteristics of this display so you can see the absolute maximum ratings the forward current and the peak forward current and uh, you can see the optical and electrical characteristics you need to keep in mind the amount of current that should flow through the dot so that you get proper intensity so here we are having some graphs okay so now let's go to the coding section the embedded C code that we require in order to turn on the particular rows and columns so as you can see here I have made a few functions you can make them as you wish and you can see the whole program you can find this code at 8051.in website and you can see the program is quite bigger so so let me show you the basic technique how we will be driving the whole dot matrix display with the controller and how we are going to use the transistors so as you can see in here diagram we are having this row one and we are having a PNP transistor for driving this row and uh, this one is BC557 and is of PNP type and for driving the rows we will be using 8 PNP transistors in this case the collector of this particular transistor is connected to row 1 and the emitter goes to VCC and the base is connected to the microcontroller pin via some resistance because we need to control the amount of base current flow similarly for driving a particular column we are using the NPN transistors and in this case it is BC547 in this case the emitter goes to the ground and uh, the collector is connected to the particular column so if you want to turn on the row 1 we put a logic here since it is a PNP type so we put a logic 0 here and we put a logic one here so this particular LED will glow so if we put the logics one at all the columns this whole row will be glowing so similarly you can connect the other seven transistors of the P and P type for controlling the rows and you can connect the four NPN transistors to these columns and control the display and keep in mind the amount of time delay it should not be more than 1 by 16th of a second I have kept it to 1 by 200th of a second so talking about the hardware section so let's see what is the hardware that we require so since we are using a 5 by 8 dot matrix display so first of all you require a dot matrix display so this is BM10458ND after that you require a microcontroller so in this case we are using the Atmel 89S52 apart from that you require the transistors for controlling the rows and the columns so it is BC547 and uh, this one is the BC557 apart from that you require some resistances for controlling the base currents and also some resistances need to be connected to the LEDs so that 
we can control the current through them to a safe value you require some relimates and uh, their basis so as to make proper connections then you require some wire for making the connections then you require the solder and after that you require the soldering iron for doing the soldering so I have actually prepared the hardware so let me show you that so you can see here that we have a 5 by 8 dot matrix display that I showed you and uh, we have a total of 13 transistors here and these are meant for controlling the rows and these five are for controlling the columns and the resistances as you can see are connected to their bases and they all go to the microcontroller pins here we have the 89s5 2 microcontroller from Atmel so let me start the circuit and see whether if it works or not so here we are having the source and you can see that the circuit is working so we are having some characters here we are having some designs some alphabets so the circuit is working properly and you can make one of your own and thanks for watching